I gotta get supplies. I think I'm ready to go out into the world. Let's go back here. Sorry. Well, damn. Day nine of confinement. Some of you may remember from day three of confinement that my hot water heater wasn't uh, doing what it was supposed to be doing. And I thought I'd fixed it. You know, I said I did a thing. Well, as you can see, I just got out of the shower and apparently I didn't do the thing. So now I have to do the thing again. So it's time to get to work. All right, Teddy, let's get her done. Okay, let's see what we got. First, make sure I'm not gonna blow myself up. Okay, appears like there's no gas buildup in the room. Now let's see if there's any gas buildup near the machine itself. Okay, flame is steady. Flame is burning itself out. That's weird. Take two. Is there a lack of oxygen in this room? Is that what's going on? Because I can't seem to keep a match light lit down here. All right. Well, we're not flashing. That appears okay. Okay, so now that we're down here, we're gonna need some light. So, I brought some light. This is part of my hurricane preparedness kit. Well, you know, you want something that doesn't necessarily need those AAA, I'm sorry, those the, those C batteries and those D batteries, because they aren't, aren't easy to find. But double A's, I've always got lots of them. Except now, because I ran out. But usually, I have lots. Let's see. does indeed appear like the pilot light is off. Well, let's turn everything down. Turn everything off. And now we're supposed to wait for 10 seconds. Make sure all the gas dissipates so we don't light a match, whoops, right near it. So, What's been happening in your lives? Okay. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna pull back a little here. Make sure we don't get any kind of flash in case the valve isn't working correctly. So, now we're supposed to turn this to the pilot setting, push the button, which is supposed to release the gas. All 
Bye. And then light the light. Ow, 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 ow. Uh. Okay. All right. Turn the gas up. Release the knob. Which then puts out the thing. God damn it. Now we have to do it again. Burner. Turn the heat where we want it. I do appear to have fire. Yay! All right. Close my door. Ah, I'm close this door. Okay, so that's done. Uh, I suppose it's working. I can hear, I can hear the gas burning in the background. It's very slight, but I can hear it. I'll check later to see if there's any hot water coming out of the sink. I, mean, I assume it should be. I mean, I didn't have a problem getting hot water before. I was getting hot water. It's just that after a time, it wasn't hot anymore. And I think, I think maybe it has something to do with the flow regulator or whatever you call it when you know it, it turns on again and, and starts heating up the new water. I think the pilot light might be going out on its own. So when the gas tries to turn back on again to heat the water once it's cooled down, the pilot light's out so it can't. I think that might be what's going on. Uh, but we'll just check and keep keep watch on it to see if it happens again. And then if not, I'll, I'll call somebody, I guess. I don't even know who to call. I mean, it's a water heater, so I guess you should call the, the plumber, maybe? Or maybe the gas company? I don't know. Huh. I mean, <laughs> I'd call Sears if they were still available. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, that's my uh, my grandfather's World War II Navy uniform. I think it's pretty cool. That's why I've kept it. I kind of wish that I had one of his um, baseball uniforms too. And then I could like put them up in like a big frame type thing and hang them on the walls. I think that'd be cool. You may be asking yourself, what did you mean baseball uniform? Well, my grandfather played professional baseball for the Pirates. Oh, thanks, Teddy. See? This is his tobacco card. And as you can see, it's a little bit different than a baseball card. Um, baseball cards now, of course, they come in packs and you get a little piece of gum with them. But at that time, you got tobacco and it came with a baseball card in it. So this is uh, his tobacco card, which is, it's almost like it's a painting. It's not really a photograph. And then there's this, which is his, uh, like a tops, the tops version of his 1952 baseball card. So you see the back of the card has his stats and everything on it. And uh, see the difference in the size. That's an actual photograph. And uh, yeah. And I also have here an 8 by 10 of his with his signature over here. It's uh, funny, but I discovered uh, looking through some of the stuff that, some of the old stuff, that there were some scrapbooks. And I came to realize that he had a fan club. And of course, it was mostly women in his fan club. It came to the realization that it was like rock stars are now. I mean, the, the Beatles were just getting ready to come out a little bit after this time, and 
Elvis was running around, but there really wasn't anybody else who was like a big sex symbol except for the major league sports athletes. And uh, my, my grandfather apparently was one. It's a weird thought because, you know, my grandmother and, you know, it's just weird. But it's still, it, it's very interesting. Had a fan club. Seriously. It's my grandfather. Anyway, so here's to that point a little bit. So this was, uh, my grandfather's over here, and over here is a pitcher from the team named Con Dempsey. He was the uh, Major League Strikeout uh, champion for 1948 and 49. Um, and in the middle is Miss Orange County. Uh, her name was Patricia Leroy, Pat Leroy. And it's funny because during this, um, this little photo session that they were doing, they were joking around and um, Pat was talking to them and told my grandfather, well, this is how you should do it if you really want to hit well. And uh, later on that afternoon, my grandfather hit a home run. So <laughs> yeah, maybe she knew what she was talking about. So here is a picture of my grandfather with Janet Lee. Yes, that's right. That Janet Lee from Psycho, the Alfred Hitchcock Psycho. And uh, this is during the filming of Angels in the Outfield. Um, and my grandfather was uh, what they call a uh, special specialist professional, uh, professional stand-in, professional extra, professional, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, he, was, he was on set and was helping out. And up here in the corner, it says, uh, Pete, congratulations on the performance, Janet Lee. Interesting, right? So, like I said, I wish I had the uniform. I wish I could uh, put it up. And uh, I'm very proud of the fact that he had such a, a long and storied life. You know, was in the Navy, professional baseball player, you know, the postman for a number of years. So, that's my grandpa. Okay, now it's time to see if we have achieved our goal of hot water. Let's see. Relatively cool. It's getting warmer. There we have it. We have hot water. All right. <laughs> okay. That's that's hot. Yep. It did it. Okay. We have uh, made sure that there is hot water, and there is hot water. So now we're going to check and see that the light, the pilot light, is still lit. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. Yes, 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 yes. We have fire. All right, the roof, the roof. Well, no, the water heater, the water heater, the water heater's on fire. We don't need no water, let the mm -mm burn. All right, so uh, I did do the thing again. All right, hopefully this time it keeps and uh, I don't have to do it again. Um, so I think we'll end here. Uh, day nine of confinement. I know today was a little short, maybe not quite as funny or as entertaining as the previous ones, but you know, you take what you can get when you're doing a day-to-day -day thing like this. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.